in a house by the beach, he's been busy. Voted into office, the president-elect is working from home. In between calls from world leaders, Donald Trump is drafting a presidency, its policy and personnel. We are going to deflate inflation. We're going to drill, baby, drill. No tax on tips. The largest deportation program in American history. I will end the war in Ukraine, stop the chaos in the Middle East. On policy, foreign and domestic, enacting the promises of the campaign trail is the task ahead. Team selection comes first. Susie and Chris, the job you did. Susie, come Susie, come here. Susie Wiles, the campaign manager who stood on the victory stage, is seen as a front runner to be Donald Trump's chief of staff. She would be the first female to occupy that position. Speculation over a presidential team broadens to include names from Trump's political past and the influencers who shaped his comeback. None more influential than Elon Musk, the billionaire who put millions into the campaign and got put in the family photo. What's in it for him is the question to be answered. Joe Grogan was once part of Donald Trump's domestic policy council. As the transition of power begins, he says the second time president will learn from mistakes first time round. He did make some personnel selections in tur that turned out to not be ideal and he hired some people that were very disloyal and were not in it for the success of the country or for him and frankly thought that they were more important than the president of the United States people who were leaking, people who were, were writing books while they were working for him. And I think he's going to be much more careful this time. As America absorbs news of political change, its implications stretch far beyond. This was a group of migrants in Mexico heading for the U.S. border. Trump's stated plan is for a mass deportation of migrants who've already made the trip. Trump said he was going to remove all Latinos from the United States, a massive deportation. So now it's going to be harder to get in. At Mar-a-Lago, the word from inside is of a different Donald Trump. Sources close to Donald Trump say there's been little to no talk of the prosecutors who've brought cases against him. The bitterness has gone, they say, partly because the law benefits him in terms of the non-prosecution of a president. But they also say that generally he feels better about everything, buoyed as he is by the election results. The scale of victory has changed his mood as he contemplates change in America.